County Sheriff's Office since July will be two years. I planned to make this my career that leads me to retirement, my life. I've loved every single minute that I have been working with 911 here in our community. It gives me a reason to wake up every day and to be the best person I can be, to learn everything I can more and more about how to help people, how, to, how a car works so that way in case it were to blow up. I want to be an asset not just for my office, but for every person that has to call in during the worst moments of their lives. And that is what a 911 emergency is. It's somebody reaching out at a time that is the worst moments they will ever have in their lives. No one ever calls 911 when they're happy. I once heard a quote pertaining to dispatchers. Tell me your worst and I'll send you my best. This is true. In both county and city, we have the best people in our offices. My deputies are amazing in every sense of the word. We have an amazing rapport with each other. We are each other's confidants and a shoulder to cry on after some of the aftermath of some of the cases they have to deal with. I know the, Perry County, the Perryville Police Department is the same way when it comes to their officers. I also have an amazing rapport with the dispatchers over there, one of which I met when she was actually at the Perry County Sheriff's Office. The factors, these factors of knowing these people have opened doors to amazing lifelong friendships that I will treasure forever. All these people are not just my friends, they're my family. When I was told of the rumors of outsourcing dispatch, I thought that they all must be lies. There could be no way our community would allow for this to happen. Our leaders must know the dedication we have for our community and people. They must know how much we struggle and train to attain the information to be best prepared for any situation that comes to the hands of that phone. It's been, dispatch has always been referred to as the first first responders. We are basic life-saving teachers, comforters, the shoulder to cry on, and unbiased listeners for those in crisis. We can also be considered as the over-the-radio GPSs for our officers and other emergency personnel when their GPS may not be completely accurate. I once heard a training video for officers that dispatchers are also seen as the, as the angels watching over all of us. I would never call myself this myself, but the deputy who was training turned around and stated he agreed with this when it came to the dispatch here in Perry County, both the city and county. I couldn't contain my happiness over just this one simple statement of somebody just appreciating what we do for them. As a citizen born and raised in this county with a large family, I cannot state with any confidence whatsoever that somebody who has been never been to Perry County or has even taken the time to try to study our roads will ever be able to know how to ascertain locations and information needed in a time of immediate crisis. They will have no clue what Brazaw is. When someone's there and they have their car overturned on the side of the road, what are they gonna do? Will they know enough about the area from the East Perry County Fair to send medical help to somebody who's near the FFA building? I think not. While they're scrambling <coughs> and trying to get an exact address for the location for the reporting party, the subject may be fighting for their life due to a stroke, heart attack, or even an assault. Their chances of death from extended timing are completely unacceptable. To me, the loss of one life or injury at all due to an inability to get first responders to the location of a subject is completely deplorable. With St. Francis County already having so much on their plate with the numerous other entities they're currently serving, how well do you think they'll handle the lives of our citizens and officers? I could tell you for sure as their last priority. We will be nothing but income turned over to a glorified landlord of 911 emergency service launch points. 
to showcase these points. Let's take a look at the many times in the past when St. Genevieve County has had to contact our agency in order for their calls and their officers to be heard and responded to by St. Genevieve, by St. Francis's communications. There was an instance just the other night of a pursuit coming from St. Genevieve County into Perry County. Our dispatcher had to be the one to talk to St. Francis County to let them know where their officers were and give them their status of their safety. When they, that is due to the poor radio service between the two agencies that already have existing contracts with each other. This will be the service you'll be paying for. A service which is already shown incapable of serving their customers' needs or having them be heard. I know it's been stated that they will use our towers. This will have to be done after they've undergone some, some kind of conversion at some point, right? Has anyone thought about the cost of this? Do you really think St. Francis will be cutting the check for that? Or do you think they'll be expecting Perry County to be doing it on top of the already filled some costs that we're gonna have? This will be compounding on all the risk of potential lawsuits due to St. Francis County inability to provide warrant information in a timely manner as well. I myself have witnessed two different events where a traffic stop turned into detaining a subject for warrants, only to have this subject hand my deputy the following paperwork. These people had completed the requirements for them to be released, and they were still listed as being wanted for the same exact charges and cases. This can be considered as a legal detention or an unlegal arrest. This occurred due to the warrants not being taken out of the system either due to a lack of communication between our own agencies or a lack of staff. Has Perry County put aside a nest egg in their budget to cover the cost of all the liability suits if these things were to happen? Realistically, looking into the future of the possibilities, keeping 911 dispatch local in Perry County in Perryville to prevent miscommunication of warrants, locations of deputies and officers, past history with subjects, and all past medical information will actually be much cheaper for the taxpayer's dollars rather than paying out settlements that will have to be settled when and not if things were to go wrong. Also, he'll be the ones to blame for any of the issues from Mule's audit when Highway Patrol does their checks if there are violations of Perry County information. Highway Patrol will place that responsibility solely on Perry County. They will allow our taxpayers to pay for St. Francis's shortcomings. I implore you to look through literally every option. The people of Perry County have been left feeling betrayed and swindled by all these choices being in regards to the just Joint Justice Center. Perryville's motto is plant your family here. How can we do this if we feel like the decisions being made without any prior notice is nothing but an ax in our hearts, threatening to chop us down to be made into paper, paper that's gonna be used to pay for these secretive dealings. Our family's here. It's not in St. Francis County. Why are we giving the role of caretaker of our land in which our roots are attached to, to another caretaker who does not have their life and hearts as embedded in the exact same soil as we are. Please, as the caretakers of Perry County, stop and take the look at the time, or stop and take the time to look into every single other option before giving away this position, away to someone who will never see the importance of the souls of Perry County as the dispatchers of both the Perry County Sheriff's Office and the Perry Perryville Police Department do. Thank you. Would you like to submit that to the commission as part yes, of the record? Sure These are for each of them. Thank you. I want to have let you go on and finish before we stop after three minutes, but I wasn't going to stop you in the middle of your letter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.